Hey, what's up? It's your girl Bombshell or back with another video. I hope you're feeling beautiful, looking beautiful, feeling handsome, and looking handsome. Me, myself, I'm feeling bomb. Gratitude for love and support. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Join the Bombies Boo. What we're about to get into is Lavelle Crawford White Girl Day Camp. This is not happening. Let's get into it. And one thing a white girl could do that just blew my mind, he <laughs> could put her hair behind her ear. That just... <laughs> oh my God. I cannot with him. Oh my God, this is coming out. I'm so lucky to have him here. You guys are gonna love him. Please give it up for the Bell Crawford, everybody. Let him hear it. Let's get into it. Ooh. Uh, I tell you a story about me drowning. You know, uh, uh, yes, I drowned. I, I literally drowned. And you know, and he's like, "Wow, that's amazing. You being so large and buoyant." <laughs> How would you drown? Well, it was when I was smaller, if you can believe it. I was a little younger. I was a kid. I was in this day camp at this little uh, daycare where, you know, they, my mom, it was free. So she put me in the daycare. We up there with these little stupid ass kids. It was, we was like 11 and 12. So we used to, I used to beat them up and take the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you know. And our counselor, she was, you know, she she smoked weed. She was a, she was a whore. You know what I'm saying? Oh she was God. nasty and she didn't know what to do with us. We didn't have no arts and crafts or nothing. Oh she didn't do no. shit with us. We just hung out playing, making up our own games, man. You know, catch me, you can finger me. You know, them little. <laughs> what? And that got old after a while and they ran out of hand soap, so that wasn't. <laughs> Oh my God! That wasn't gonna be a fun night, you know. Mm -mm. You know, but I, when I, you know, and this this day camp was in a, uh, you know, predominantly, you know, suburb. May I say, you know, like it is in here, more whites than blacks, you know. And, and I used to live in the hood, you know. And when I got around white people, a lot of things that was different. White people have season passes to Six Flags, and they could go a bunch of times. But the main thing was the white girl. That threw me for a loop. I had never seen a white girl before. I had never seen nobody really? named Rebecca or Samantha <laughs> or Elizabeth. You know, I, I was around Lakeisha's and Sharonda's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Shakita, you know, that was my girl. Shakita. When I seen Elizabeth, man, oh my God, she was cute. She mm. had red hair mm. and her cheeks were like rosy, like a cartoon, like Charlie Brown. You know, little Charlie Brown girl, he had a crush on back in the day. Her cheeks was red. <laughs> and one thing a white girl could do that just blew my mind. He could put her hair behind her ear. It just, <laughs> oh my God, that was so sexy to me. I was like, holy shit, do that again, Elizabeth. She's like, what are you talking about? Oh man, I, I was, I break out in a cold sweat. I couldn't. I was in love with her from from that day on. I followed her everywhere. Please put your hair behind your ears for me, just for the day. Lavelle, I'm sick of doing this with you. Oh. And, and this little, little girl that from my neighborhood, her name was Shakisha, she couldn't stand me because she loved me. She was in, had a crush on me, but she was mad because I liked Elizabeth. She went to the day camp too. Why you like that little ugly white girl? Why you like that ugly white girl? I said, first of all, watch your damn mouth. <laughs> around my white woman, all right? <laughs> Being highly disrespectful. <laughs> Second of all, can you put your hair behind your ear? 
Huh? She said, yeah, I can. She tried, it popped out, and she tried again, <laughs> it popped out. I said, I ain't got no more fucking time for you, all right? <laughs> she said, let me get some hair oil. Fuck that, I ain't got no time. <laughs> if you can't do it on your own, you don't need to do it at all. <laughs> One, you know, one day we was at day camp and we was trying to, we was supposed to go to, uh, uh, you know, go do something with the counselor and she <coughs> couldn't find out nothing to do, but she wanted to see her boyfriend. I heard her on the phone. Talk I heard her on the phone. Over. Robert, I'm going to see if I can get away. I'm going to bring the kids <laughs> over and let them go swimming. I heard her say it. And I was like, fuck it, I'll go swimming. Is she going to take a swimming? You know, kids love to swim, you know. I, don't, I couldn't swim. I'm black. We don't swim. Mm -hmm. We know black kids don't swim. We learn later after one of our friends died. We learn how to swim, <laughs> you know. And, uh, For and real. We, we, we need to learn black how to swim, y'all. We were three, three feet. We walk it all the I'm like, well, look at me, I'm swimming, player. <laughs> we just go over and put our foot on deep. Oh shit, I almost got in there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that's our black that's how black pool parties are. We don't go in the deep shit. We, yeah. we jump off the dive board close yeah. to the side and get out. And somebody try to push a bitch, I'll fuck you up. If you Thank push you. me again, stop playing. I just got my hair done. Mm -hmm. we, we don't we don't swim, but I wanted to go. And she said, "Hey guys, I'm gonna take you over to my apartment complex, but you can't tell anybody where we're going because you weren't supposed to take us away from you know the daycare center. We wasn't supposed to leave the premises, but mm -hmm. she doing some foul shit. She said <laughs> we went over there. She didn't even watch. She watched us for five minutes. We was unsupervised. All these 11, 12 years old, all by ourselves, and it was cool because I was trying to get up on Beth anyway. So you know we jump in the water. I had on my little aqua." man uh, swim shorts they tied up a little tight up in my crotch and I'm ready to get out there and you follow them back around the pool she was cool as long as we was in you know three feet but Beth was trying to get away from She's me like, apparently she wasn't as into me as I thought she was mm -hmm. but I was like what's wrong Beth come on baby slow come down on, put baby. your hair behind your ear and let's talk you know <laughs> And she kept going, leave me alone. And she just started floating. <laughs> and I'm following her, you know, and I'm mesmerized by her beauty, you know. Her, the, the hair behind her ears just had me hip, hypnotized. And I'm, I'm following her all the way over there. And then I noticed that I wasn't paying attention. I'm still oh, walking shit. under the water, but the water over my damn nose. But I kept walking with her. Next thing you know, she took off like, a feather just floating across Michael, the water because she Bell. white. They know how to swim. She <laughs> swam real well like a damn mermaid. And I went under the damn water. I didn't know what. I'm under the water. Bloop. I'm sitting around like. <laughs> this is weird. Why I ain't floating like Beth? I don't know what I can do to get up under the water like Beth. And man, this is. It's weird because I don't know why I can't breathe now. And I'm down there that this bullshit. I'm and I didn't know what to do. I was trying to get up, but I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up. Next thing you know, I disappeared. Uh, in my mind, I was gone. In my All mind. I think about is white women just leaving me all over the place. <laughs> And when I woke up, I'm laying on the side of the pool. The camp counselor, she freaking out like, oh shit, I'm gonna lose my fucking job. Fuck me, hell with me. She didn't care if I was alive or not. She worried about her job, cause she wasn't even there. She was over there probably doing some ungodly shit with her boyfriend, smelling like marijuana. And the paramedics trying to give me mouth to mouth with, that woke me up. Cause you ain't gonna put your lips on me. I don't know you. I came through and I threw up. I had died. They said I was unconscious for 10 minutes. I was oh dead. I died. And I'm sitting there like, damn, I, I died. And Beth, where's Beth? <laughs> Beth's stinking ass had went home with her parents. They had sent everybody home and she left me, that dirty <laughs> bitch. <laughs> After that, I didn't like white girls never again. <laughs> I went back to Shakisha. I said, Shakisha, I don't care if you can't put your hair behind <laughs> your ears. Can you swim? Fuck swimming. You're going to be my boo for life. <laughs>
story y'all i needed that laugh put any other <laughs> comedians in the comments you guys and i will react to them see you guys next video bye boundaries